I don't remember the faces of my biological mom and father. Imagine being the least valuable child in an orphanage. It was due to a skin condition. What if I told you that this same girl, abandoned in war-torn Sierra Leone, would one day become a world-renowned ballerina? Michaela de Prince faced this reality. Her rise from despair to the top of the ballet world is a miraculous story. Born in Sierra Leone, Michaela faced great hardships. She was ostracized for her vitiligo, a skin condition that made her stand out. From starring in Beyonce's Lemonade to soloing with the Boston Ballet, Michaela's talent and resilience have inspired millions. How did she transform her pain into a powerful force for change? And what legacy does she leave behind in the world of dance? Michaela de Prince was born in Sierra Leone during the Civil War on January 6, 1995. She faced immense hardships from a very young age. Tragically, she lost both of her biological parents at a young age. Rebels killed her father, and her mother died of starvation soon after. Left orphaned, Michaela was sent to an orphanage. There, she faced harsh discrimination due to her skin condition, vitiligo. It caused patches of lighter skin on her body. In the orphanage, she was labeled number 27, the least desirable child. However, Michaela de Prince, the renowned ballerina, passed away at 29. Join us as we delve into the extraordinary life of Michaela de Prince, a true trailblazer. This is the incredible story of Michaela de Prince, a war orphan. She defied unimaginable odds to become a top ballerina, but her journey was challenging. How did she turn her painful past and the prejudice she faced into one of the most inspiring careers in dance? Stay tuned to see how Michaela's spirit and passion broke barriers and made history. Despite these challenges, Michaela found hope in an unexpected place. A magazine photo of a ballerina which she discovered sparked a lifelong dream. In 1999, at age four, she was adopted by an American couple, Charles and Elaine de Prince. This changed her life. They welcomed her into their family and supported her dreams of becoming a dancer. Michaela's adoptive mother saw her love for a magazine cover with a ballerina, so she urged her to try ballet. Michaela's adoptive parents nurtured her talent. They gave her the stability and support to pursue ballet. Their help led to her rise to international fame. Michaela de Prince began her formal ballet training after moving to the United States. She first studied at the Rock School for Dance Education in Philadelphia. There, she built her basic skills and techniques. Her talent and drive quickly stood out, so she attended prestigious schools. She later went to the Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis School at the American Ballet Theater in NYC. It is one of the world's top ballet schools. This training was key to her career. It helped her refine her art and prepare for the international stage. Michaela also received mentorship from renowned ballet figures. Their guidance helped her face the ballet world's challenges. It helped her become a professional dancer. Michaela de Prince's early career was marked by perseverance and exceptional talent. After years of rigorous training, she began making her mark in the ballet world at a young age. In 2010, at 15, Michaela gained fame from the documentary First Position. It followed her and other young dancers in the Youth America Grand Prix. Michaela's work earned her a scholarship to the Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis School at the American Ballet Theater. After her studies, Michaela debuted with the Dance Theater of Harlem in 2012. This began her career in professional ballet, but she wanted more than the U.S. In 2013, she joined the junior company of the Dutch National Ballet in Amsterdam. It is one of Europe's top ballet companies. Her skills and stage presence quickly made her a full member of the main company in 2014. She continued to perform in prominent productions. In her early career, Michaela stood out. Her skills and resilience shone in an industry that often lacked diversity. She became an inspiring figure. Her journey from orphan to ballet star was beginning. Michaela de Prince gained fame in 2011 from the acclaimed documentary First Position. The film followed her and other young ballet dancers. They competed in the Youth America Grand Prix, a top ballet competition. Michaela's story of overcoming adversity captivated audiences. She, a war orphan from Sierra Leone, became a ballerina, 
Her powerful performance and personal journey made her a ballet star. The documentary made Michaela famous, but her success and advocacy for diversity in ballet solidified her fame. After joining the Dutch National Ballet in 2013, she became a top young dancer. An orphanage raised her. She then reached the international stage. This made her a global symbol of resilience. It was due to her work in breaking barriers in ballet. Michaela de Prince was known to have dated Skylar Maxi Wirt in 2015. She mentioned him in her book, Taking Flight, From War Orphan to Star Ballerina. However, there are no public records of her being in a relationship at the time of her passing. Michaela de Prince has kept her personal life and romances private. There is no widely reported info on her dating history or who she has dated. If she has shared any details about her romantic life, they have not been widely publicized. Like many public figures, Michaela may choose to keep that aspect of her life out of the spotlight. Michaela de Prince has won many prestigious awards. They reflect her talent and perseverance. She first gained recognition through the Youth America Grand Prix, YAP. Her performance there earned her a scholarship to the Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis School at the American Ballet Theater. In 2013, she received the Princess Grace Award, honoring her as an emerging talent in the dance world. In 2012, her work as a black ballerina won the National Black Theater Award. It was groundbreaking. In 2015, she was named one of the BBC's Top 100 Women, recognizing her as an inspirational figure on the global stage. In 2017, Forbes' 30 Under 30 list recognized her for her work in the arts and for advocating diversity. These accolades show Michaela's impact on ballet and the arts. She is a strong advocate for inclusivity. As of 2024, Michaela de Prince's net worth is estimated to be between $1 million and $3 million. Her wealth comes from many sources. They include her ballet career, endorsements, and media projects. She has danced with prestigious companies like the Dutch National and Boston Bala. Their principal dancers earn high salaries. Also, Michaela has modeled for major brands. She co-authored a memoir, Taking Flight, From War Orphan to Star Ballerina. It adds to her income. Also, MGM's upcoming biopic of her life may boost her earnings. She was known for her journey from a Sierra Leonean orphanage to the world's biggest stages. Unfortunately, there isn't much publicly available information about her home. There is no public information on Michaela de Prince's car collection. Her focus on ballet and charity may mean she has ignored cars. Michaela de Prince, the renowned ballerina, passed away at 29. The cause of her death has not been publicly disclosed. Her passing was announced shortly before the death of her adoptive mother, Elaine de Prince, who died from an unrelated illness. It's a tragic loss for the dance community and all inspired by her journey and resilience. Michaela de Prince was not only a renowned ballerina, but also a dedicated humanitarian. She was deeply committed to advocating for children affected by conflict and violence. De Prince was an ambassador for War Child Holland. It supports children in war zones. She also hosted a gala, Dare to Dream. It aimed to help children in those tough environments. It wanted to improve their well-being and mental health. She used her platform to raise awareness for vulnerable children worldwide. It's inspiring how she balanced her tough job with her humanitarian work. It was very impactful. Michaela de Prince's life shows the power of perseverance, talent, and will. She survived unimaginable hardships in war-torn Sierra Leone. Now she dances on the world's top ballet stages. Her journey is extraordinary. Michaela's work breaks barriers and inspires many worldwide. It proves that no dream is too far out of reach. As she forges ahead, her legacy will undoubtedly leave an indelible mark on the arts and beyond. Thank you for watching. If Michaela's story inspired you, please like, share, and subscribe for more.